Yeah, man. On this journey, you will be inspired. You got to be inspired to keep going. When you feel like you got nothing left, you got to find it within yourself to create the inspiration. This is Tanakh Only Sessions with Con Drop. And I'm inspired, man, by the tribe, by the joy world, you know, all my nuggets contributing, allowing us to pop off and build this fence and do something so simple, but, you know, make it look so good because we're doing it, because we have a cause, because we have a purpose. I'm inspired by my bro Five Eyes Ma, man, popping off, dropping EPs and <laughs> my pack ones. Oh, you know, just the level that he takes his artistry. You know, I'm inspired by it, man. You know. I'm inspired to build with, with those that know how to dodge their own hijacks. <laughs> That's inspiration. But along this journey, you will be inspired. To see a Naga make Naga moves, you gotta fight through so much static, you know. That you gotta believe, the, even if you're not inspired, <laughs> that the inspiration is worth fighting for. Sometimes you got to fight for the inspiration. You can't just lay back and expect to be inspired. But now you got to fight for it. That one day you will hit that. <laughs> hit that mark, man. And when you do, you'll know your purpose and you know what you're here for. And you have the ability to inspire others. And you see that, man, that's what it's been all about the whole time. I'm inspired by the tribe, man. I'm inspired by the eat the squid eye. By all the tribe making tribal music. By everybody choosing up, keeping the cold. We got, di you know, different professionals, you know, people in different professions keeping the cold. Because they listening in, because they tuning in. Because they're inspired. By our fight, my nigga, that, that we ain't stop fighting. That we ain't stop popping off. Hey man, we about to pop off in the in the fifth wave, my nigga. Hey. You know, a lot of niggas popping off the brand new year, man. Hey, uh, I don't know how to say happy new year in Hebrew, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, <laughs> Baruch, Baruch. I know we got a Baruch, a Pesach coming up, man. Hey. You know, a great checkpoint. I know it's a very important checkpoint. You know, I don't get caught up in all the uh, particulars of, you know, when you do this, you might have popped off your New Year's last week or, you know, two weeks from now. Man, we don't know our days. We don't know our times. We don't know our laws. <laughs> We're learning our code, you know, from the ground up. But all I can say is, man, um, you know, I'm so grateful and inspired to be here with you. And I know that I got a purpose because I'm with you. You know what I mean? And we all had to walk away from so much, you know, or died so much that to be here is an inspiration all into itself. You might not find yourself in a perfect position or situation. You know, you might want to pop off so bad, but still be a couple steps away. And you got to be okay with that. That means you got to take them steps, my God. Don't give up. Take the steps. Keep your feet moving. You know, my Abba, after my Abba, Michael Andrews, man, man. You know, Big Mike used to tell me, man, you know, you know Marcus, uh, 
Just keep your feet moving. And now we say, uh, be moving water, right? <laughs> be water. Keep your feet moving. So, Monaga, I'm inspired by you, Pop Off. Yeah, you know I'm saying, uh, <laughs> the longest and the dopest season in the ether, you know, season four lasted nearly a year and a half in the fourth wave. And I just wanted to give all we could, man, to this fourth. You know, this is the wave that, you know, really sold, I believe, the most seeds. You know, we have very important seeds that we sold in the third wave, second wave, and first wave, right off the balcony popping off. But, you know, this fourth wave, we sold the most seeds. You know, we had to refine our seeds. We had to know what we were doing it for. We had to understand Hawaii. We had to seek Hawaii, search for Hawaii. We had to desire Hawaii. And now uh, we popping off and we got these seeds, you know what I'm saying? So we, we planted these seeds and we did a plan over the last year and a half in the fourth wave, my nine. And, uh, you know, we're going to come back, you know, we got a season finale next week and we're going to come back popping off the fifth wave, you know what I'm saying? And the ether and it's like, wow, we, we made it. You know, I think the fifth wave, matter of fact, I know the fifth wave. You know, it's all about action, my nine. You know, we did the teaching. You know, we did that. Now it's just popping off. It's just actions. It's you know what I'm saying. Yeah, man. Just, just, just sit back and enjoy it. Allow what? You made it here. You made it to this checkpoint. Congrats, my nine. You popping off with your families, beautiful bonds and bods. Congrats to your houses. You got land popping off. Congrats on your land. You building a hey, for Nagaville for Joy World. Hey, the water to the contributors, you know what I mean? And, you know, I just want to name off a few, you know what I mean? Even though there's many. So, a hey, hop to the many. And, uh, you know, I'm just reading the few that's just come in, you know, just helping out for Joy World while we're out there. While we're not out there, making sure that we're able to build our pot up. Love the five eyes mind. He said, hey, man, most high above, <laughs> above all, hey, M-H-A-A, -A, most high above all. <laughs> hey, trademark, trademark, love the five eyes mind. He said, they over there, you know, you know, trying to, you know, you know, use the flow, you know, <laughs> borrow the flow, to, to say it lightly. But, of course, they are, you know what I'm saying? M-H-O-E is about the entire earth plane you know, getting in this wave, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, when we come together and do what we're doing and putting the insight together, putting the visuals together, Managa, we do it for Joy World, man. We do it for Atlanta, bro. Said a 60% of our revenue from the MHOA, mo most high above all. I think we got, I mean, you know, we just putting... Whatever we make it, man, just know it's going right back in. It don't matter if it's 60%, you know, 90%, 100%. We're going to keep putting percents of whatever's coming in, you know what I'm saying, um, to building and buying, buying land, securing land. And to know that that's the purpose, that when you get down to it, we want to secure land for the tribe. We want to secure futures. We want a place that hey, if we want to do our music best, you know, environments to do our music for the creator. You know, we want to make garments. We have the best environment to make our garments. We want to grow food. We have the best environments to grow food, man. And that's all across the earth plane. That's the vision of most high over everything. Most high above all. Because when you put the most high above all, it's all happening, my nugget. You back in cold. Allow what? Hawaii is your secure breath. I know we got a lot of new wave surfers. People ask me all the time, you know. Uh, man, someone just asked me in my email, to, like literally about an hour ago, my nigga. They said, 
Glory to the Most High. I came across your YouTube videos about the Creator's name. If you would please answer some questions. Allow Hawa. Let's get it. How did you come to the knowledge that Hawa is the Most High's name? You know. When we say Hawa, we're talking about the fifth and the sixth letter of the Picto Paleo Hebrew. And it just so happens that this Hawa, that they turn to Hey Yah, or that they turn to Yahweh, or, you know, all that, you know, um, you know, comes from this primitive root verb, which means to exist. And in the picto, the ha is the breath and the wa is the security. So you're talking about a secure breath of existence, you know. When you see clearly, you see that this is why they changed all those lords, you know, or, you know, changed the Christian. Go into that strong concordance back to the 1961 and a hop to the bro legs for bringing the concordance out with it. You know, really, you know, allowing us to, you know, put the building blocks together throughout. Got to be seeking a wa to even put this, you know, with the picto, with the paleo, with the, you know, uh, uh, concordance and, you know, all this, you know what I'm saying? So, but yeah, Hawa, it means existence. It's a picto, paleo, primitive root verb. So when we say Hawa, we're talking about a breath of security. We're talking about a frame of shape. But then you got to understand the frame and the shape. To know how we came across it or came about it, you would have to be surfing the wave. And, you know, all the published work is out there for all my noggins that's just now surfing the wave. And, I, you know, we all salute you. We all give you maximum Ahab over here, you know, because we have a wave to surf. You know, we say we're in the fifth wave, but you can belly flop to the fifth wave. Matter of fact, you have to belly flop <laughs> to the fifth wave. But, you know what I'm saying? Just know that you're here for a reason. And, it's okay to ask these questions and we'll keep answering them because we know how important it is. And the family said, it's Hawa's name in the scripture. Yeah, I mean, just go to uh, Exodus 20. <laughs> well, matter of fact, you know, go to uh, Exodus 13. <laughs> when Moshe is asking, uh, what uh, should I, what should I call you? You know, what should I tell the children uh, your name is? I am Hawa. I am is a why to exist. And when you look up I am back in that concordance, it's going to take you directly right back into the primitive root verb. They'll say, hey, yeah. And the, you know, former is the Hawa, the, the first, the original, because you're talking about Pictopalio. And it matches directly with that fifth and sixth letter in the Pictopalio. You walk through that door, you get your secure breath, your breath and your security. Then you get your Zion. Then you get your Zion. So, you know, I'm, you know, repetition breaks the spell. The wave surface, no. But for those walking through the door, we have to be able to explain these things simply. Because if you can't explain it simply, you don't have an understanding of it. It shouldn't be complex. You shouldn't have to know how to read Hebrew to understand Hawa's name in these times. These noggins in the hood ain't going to be able to read Hebrew to understand why you're putting this diacritic mark in your past, your present, your future. You got to understand it based on the picto paleo Hebrew. You got to show them that alphabet, that are left back. Them right into it so they can see the meaning of the ha, what they call the hey, the wa, what they change to the vav. <laughs> and then we start breaking it down and all these uh, place names on the Hawaii. You know, even the Hevas and the Kivas all oh, they go right back to the Hawaiis, you know what I mean? So the existence is everywhere. It, the the water got us around it. The water got us around it. So, you know, when they say Yah, <laughs> and we're just talking water that gives you the <laughs> the existence, because you don't exist without no water, right? <laughs> but you don't call it Yadder, right? You're calling it water. Right, so don't have an issue with the was all of a sudden when you call water, water for a reason. Hawa, man, let's go. Man. It's the knock on these sessions. <laughs> hey, man, this is a uh, <laughs> fourth wave season finale, man. We pop it off. <laughs> Hello. Oh.
All praise to God, man. Now we're gonna keep the water flowing. And uh, really, we're just getting started. We, you know, we're just beginning, so that's why it feels so good to pop off, man. And, um, this is the checkpoint that we've been visualizing, and just to be here popping off, we're popping off, and you know, building our fence and doing these things, and getting the support of our community, our our tribe, tribe, and uh, just seeing how it affects and connects to all my Naga and Nagaville. And I, I'm inspired, man. So. I just want to tell you I'm inspired, you know, a hop to the tribe and again our contributors. A hop to Tracy Slocum, uh, David Narvaez, Stephen Harris, Miriam Hope, Dolores Walls, Kelly Thomas, Ada Davis, Jerkin Strickland, Broderick Richmond, Clavon Hunt, Brian Wilson, Crystal Anderson, all my anonymous cons donating supporting. And all the platforms you're doing it, from PayPal to Cash App to everything you're doing, ain't the water to you for you know making sure Venmo, whatever you're doing to make sure we get fence building funds, ain't hot to you. I just want to give it up, give you know appreciation, ain't hot. Frederick Ederson, ain't hot. Contessa Taylor, Sonia Baker, C.J. Battle, Ty Battle, Anthony Largy, Eric Mays, Condra Khan. Wilma Bates, Lloyd R. Scott, and Chauncey Brown, and Aretha Wright, Sine Gleason. I mean, that's just a few, you know what I mean? Casey Reed. Oh, man, you know, this, you know, Dizzle Fitty, what it do, man? <laughs> all my family, man, all my anonymous cons. You know, I just want to say the Wada from the tribe for myself. Um, you know, you've been giving us so much, you know, great inspiration. And that's really what we're on right now is the, is the inspiration because we're popping off, man. So I feel good. I want you to feel good. Let's go ahead and pop off Deuteronomy chapter 11 and be inspired because we see clearly. Brand new year, right? You got to see clearly. These are very important years. And, you know, this really uh, hits a lot different. <laughs> with everything going around us right now. Hey, hey, hop to the real ones, let's go. Kana. Therefore, thou shalt love Hawa, your power, and keep his charge and his statutes and his ordinances and his commandments. So we're just popping right off, right? KTC, keep the code, let's go. And know you this day, for I speak not with your children that have not known and that have not seen the chastisement of your power, his greatness, his mighty hand, his outstretched arm and his signs and his works, which he did in the midst of Egypt unto Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, and unto all his land. And what he did unto the army of Egypt, unto their horses and to their chariots, how he made the water of the Red Sea to overflow them as they pursued after you, and how Hawa has destroyed them unto this day. And what he did unto you in the wilderness, until you came to this place and what he did unto Dathan and Abaram, the sons of Eliab, the son of Reuben, how the earth opened her mouth and swallowed them up and their households and their tents and every living substance that followed them. In the midst of all Israel, but your eyes have seen all the great work, your eyes have seen all the great work of a while which he did. Therefore, shall you keep all the commandments which I command you this day, that you may be strong. Why keep the commandments, my Naga? Why do we have to KTC? Why do they say when we're weak, we're strong? Because <laughs> maybe if you're getting humble, to find the strength to keep the code to KTC. You know how we do. 
put our power first. We never lose. Wow wants us to be strong, man. You give your children, you know, a regimen of flow, you know, education, great food, exercise, so that they could be strong. And they refuse to eat well, you know, or they refuse to, you know what I'm saying, give their all when when you're trying to exercise with them, or they refuse to learn because they want to be distracted. Managa, they're not being strong, right? So you <laughs> got to put it down and make sure that they can realize and respect what you're saying so that they can be strong. It's all about you wanting them to be better. It's all about Hawa wanting us to be better. Not for no selfish reason, and this is some flip, oh, you got a sky daddy that wants you to listen to him for his own selfishness so that he could say he's a god over you. <laughs> like, no, nah, this is our, our, our frame and our shaper that only wants us, the children, to be strong. And are we strong today? This lets you know who the children are of, of the creator, right? That's a big deal to be a child of Hawa. To be the offspring, the, the heritage of Hawa, the creator, is a big deal. You know we out of code, so we, you know we ain't strong right now in the field. Not on the earth plane kingdom radar. You know, we're not even on the radar of being the kingdom right now. We're not strong. Are you strong because you got your... Uh, your mansion, you, you strong because you got some dollars. We are not strong. They are strong, which lets you know who they are. They can't be no child of Hawa because they, as a collective unit, <laughs> are strong against us, which gives us all clarity. It gives us all prophetic clarity as to who the children are. Because in these days, we are not strong. We are getting stronger. Because the few are beginning to believe. Believe who they are. He's beginning to believe. You are the one, my night. <laughs> the collective one is getting. One drop, one try. But why wants us to be strong? That you may be strong and go in and possess the land. Time out. Why does Hawa, why does Hawa want us to be strong? Like, we got to break this down with a dragonfly perspective. I'm in Deuteronomy chapter 11, verse 8. Therefore, shall you keep the code, keep the commandments which I command you this day, that you may be strong. So, Hawaii's giving us the play by play. So, sometimes a parent might respond when you say why. Sometimes you say why, they'll be like, because I said so. Why are you asking me why? Just do what I said. Other times they might say, look, this is why I'm on you like this, because I want you to read so that when you read, you can go you can go to school and, and or, or you could be a businessman and be a, in business for yourself. Right. And they give you why they want you to be strong. First, they just say, I want you to read. You say, why? Let's keep going. <laughs> why keep the code? Why KTC? That you may be strong. Why? Why do we have to be strong? Why must we read? <laughs> so that you can go in and possess the land. Come. So you want us to possess Nagaville. Come. 
Okay, okay. That's why we KTC. So that we have strength and that we can be the head, not the tail. And most of all, because we have a high for our creator and we want to, you know, make sure that we give that respect and a high and that reverence and that, you know, uh, trembling humility. Back. To our frame and our shape, our gratitude. So you listen to your parents because you're supposed to. But when you get to the why of why your parent is telling you a certain thing to do, it's so that you can be a strong individual and that you can be a boss, right? <laughs> and in being a boss, you ain't over here renting no houses or pay no mortgage and taxes and stuff, right? You you have the land, my naga. You have the land. With land comes infinite possibility for you, for your children. You are in, in eternal shalom. You have food. You need not depend on them. You don't need their money. You have everything. You got a system of, of, of you know, bartering with each other. You don't need dollars you just need things <laughs> he has stuff i need i got stuff you need we work together we keep each other strong you got the food okay i i got these skills money wasn't even in play it doesn't have to go to the metaverse monogamy. it doesn't have to go to crypto monogamy. it doesn't have to do that Hawa, through you, can and will return. And when this happens, you're not in the matrix no more. You only go there when you're blind and you need someone to usher you and guide you into their imagination. Now you are observing through their lens again. But what happens when you observe the cone? You have your own perspective. You got the Dracon fly perspective. Can you create and collapse the wave pattern on paradise? Is your paradise crypto and money and fiat? Is your paradise internet and metaverse? Or is your paradise land, my name? <laughs> Real things. Your parent wants you to listen so that you can be the best, you know, what I'm saying daughter or son, you know, and grow into the strongest, you know, woman or man and have the best opportunities. Think about the opportunities that come with land. That's the best Hawa can give us is a land of our own to flourish, right? To be protected, to multiply. To live in Shalawa. You want to play outside. Your parents says clean your room. <laughs> now you. You clean your room. You play outside. You have fun. You're in paradise. You don't listen. Maybe you can't come out your room <laughs> or worse. You know what I'm saying? You you in a state of hell because you chose not to listen. Managi, this is a choice. And I think I'm on my easy flow right now. But slavery is a choice. Because you ain't no homeborn slave, Israel. You chose this by being out of code. You chose this with the covetous in your heart. To this day, you chose this with the false witnessing. To this day, you chose it with the murder, with the op this and the ops that, and the pack this and the pack that. You got to choose to go ahead and uh, turn that bass up with that tribal music, you know, and uh, dig on that my pack, man. Not the op pack, the my pack one, you know what I'm saying? Because we reversing the spell. We're breaking the spell by keeping it cold.
that we bumping, you know, life out of our packs. You know, not that, man. That's tribal music. So you be strong so you can go in and you can possess the land. Whether you go over to possess it, that you may prolong your days. Stop. <laughs> so Hawa wants us to be strong, to get the land, to do what? You keep saying, why? Why? It's that one time your parents going to keep answering you and say, you know what? Because <laughs> I want you to prolong your days. Where? Upon the land. So you go in and possess it. That you may prolong your days upon the land. Which Hawa swore unto your fathers. And your amas. <laughs> to give unto them. And to their seed. A land flowing with milk and honey. And managa. You know that's pearls and gold. And you know where they found that gold. So you know where your land is. <laughs> For the land, verse 10, whether you go in to possess it, is not as the land of Egypt from whence you came out, where you did sow your seed and did water it with your foot as a garden of herbs. But the land, whether you go to possess it, is a land of hills and valleys and drinks and drinketh water as the rain of heaven comes down. A land which Hawa cares for. Whoa. So you're telling me Hawa don't care for all the land? That's interesting, huh? <laughs> I guess that land of bondage, that land of Egypt, you know. Those other guys, you know. We're over there partying. So, you know, doing sacrifices and stuff. Hawa didn't care for the land because they were profaning the land. But your land, Hawa cares for. The eyes of Hawa are always upon it. Stop. So you're telling me Hawa's eyes are always upon all the lands on the earth? It's kind of like watching TV <laughs> or something, you know. Is your eyes always on every channel, right? Or are some channels just whack? You just let that pass. It's not the air. It's not the land. It's what's being aired, right? <laughs> so it's not uh, the radio station. You know, it's, it's all broadcasted in the ether. Hawaii doesn't have an issue with the ether or the land itself, but what's being broadcasted on it, right? What's the frequency of this joint, these False gods and these idols being worshipped. God. But on your land, my night, Hawa's eyes are always upon it. From the beginning of the year, hey, happy new year, man, we popping off. Hey, Shalom, Baruch, Baruch to the tribe. From the beginning of the year, even until the end of the year, and it shall come to pass if you shall Listen diligently to my commandments. That's all the creator's asking is that we KTC. And you know what rule number one is? No God before me. We hearken diligently. We listen carefully, we seek, we search. We get our land back. Not because you march in the streets. Not because of how many rounds you could pop off. Not because of your, your click click or your gang gang. Or how well stocked and how much provisions you had. Or the plan you had. Or all the things you thought you knew. But because you K T C M A Joey. I mean, for real, for real, my noggin. That's all it takes. And that's all it ever took. And it's so simple, it seems complicated, right? 
So simple it seems. Like all you really got to do is dodge your own damn hijacks. Because the truth is all we, all we ever had to do was dodge our own damn hijacks. And Aquatai Battle told us that. Salute to the clan battle. We just popping off. Verse 13, and it shall come to pass if you hearken diligently unto my commandments. Keep the code which I command you this day to love Hawaii. How do you love Hawaii? You listen, right? You hearken diligently and to serve him with all your heart, with all your soul. That I will give the rain of your land in its season, the former rain and the latter rain. That thou may gather your corn, your wine. Whoa, we popping off. I'm talking about that real corn, man. Not that Monsanto. I'm talking about that real wine with them fresh grapes. Not that chapped up stuff. Love to yourself. <laughs> Everything chapped. The mud chapped. The soil chapped. The grass is chapped. <laughs> hey, for real, for real. No play, play. We live in a chapter world navigating. So, you know, don't mind us. We just popping off. In your oil, imagine the oils, man. And I will give grass in your fields for the cattle. And thou shalt eat and be satisfied. Take heed to yourselves, lest your heart be deceived and you turn aside and serve. Other powers. Rule number one. No power. Before your power. M-H-O-E. Most high. Most high. Most high, my knock. Over everything. That's it. Simple formula. Blue, purple, red. White linen. Go three. Now you got that man sauce. To knock only sessions. <laughs> hey, this is a, <laughs> this is a Torah only session right here, man. We just didn't do the round of me <laughs> popping off. <laughs> Let's go. I mean, it's so simple. That's why we had to read it. That's why it hits a little different, like I said, man. So if you listen, you got your land, man. You're the head and not the tail. You popping off. Hawaii's always looking on you. You know, you know, giving Ahab with the rain. You got your corn popping off. You got your wine and your oils popping off. Your cattle, everybody's... You know, feeling good, you know, all your things. <laughs> Man, you're satisfied, you're eating good. Thou shalt eat and be satisfied. Take heed to yourselves, let your heart be deceived. And you turn aside and serve other gods and worship them. That's the po that's the problem, I not. These other powers. Slavery is a choice, you see. <laughs> and the anger of Hawaii be kindled against you and he shut up the heaven. This is what happened. We got shut up. When Hawaii shut up the heaven, <laughs> that firmament closed. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that firmament closed on the night. So that there shall be no rain. And the ground shall not yield her fruit. And you perish quickly like we're doing today from off the good land which Hawa gives you. So they found us in paradise, but we perished quickly off of it. <laughs> and even if we're on it now, it's unrecognizable. It's no longer a good land for us. It's gotten cursed. It's gotten a parasite, right? You can have a good body, but that body gets a parasite. You know, things are going bad in the body. It's no longer a good, you know, situation. <laughs> you know, it's your body. It's still, you know, in your mind, a good body, but you're not in a good 
you know, reality. You know what I'm saying? Your body's under attack. The earth is under attack from the hijack, man. It's hijack city all over the place. So we got to surf the wave. We got to listen. We got to be in cold. Therefore shall you lay up these words, or excuse me, these my words in your heart bone. So we put Hawa's words in our heart bone and in our soul bone. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand. And they shall be for frontlets between your eyes. And you shall teach them your children, taking of them when you sit in the house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up. Oh, I was talking about the cold, meditating on the cold. For it to be, you know, in the front that's between your eyes. What's that? The pine cone, the pineal gland? Like you meditating <laughs> on this cold, on, on the purity of having Hawa first. The purity of not putting your secure breath in vain. The purity of your Shabbat, the purity of, you know, loving each other without the murder, loving each other without the thievery, the adultery, managa, the covenants, the false witnessing. You have to meditate daily because the temptation is there in the matrix, right? No man or woman is above this temptation. We all got to meditate on our hearts. And do we have any covenants in our heart? The words we speak in our are they true? And don't be so hard on yourself that you beat yourself up. Just say, hey, all right, I can do better. So I'm going to do better. You know what I mean? I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep my feet moving. I'm going to take the inspiration. <laughs> That the tribe is popping off with. I ain't going to give up on them, man. I ain't going to give up on the tribe, tribe, man. I'm going to show up for the tribe. I will exist for the tribe. Hawa! <laughs> My daughter loves drawing. You know, these very expressional eyes, like she draws these these cats, you know, and all of them have different expressions. And I don't know where she learned it from, but she's just popping off. And, uh, you know, the other day she's like, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm not really inspired right now. <laughs> well, how come you haven't drawn, you know, drawn any cats in a while? <laughs> you know, and I told her the same thing that I'm telling you right my now. Right now, I'm not, you know, I say, well, maybe if you just try to draw, the inspiration will come, man. Sometimes we beat ourselves up and we feel like, you know, we're waiting for this, this sign or this, you know, this push on our back, you know, someone to drag us across, you know, to the next checkpoint, you know, or, you know, someone to tell us how great we are so that we can, Say, okay, fine. I'll do it. I can get up. Nah, man. This the, <laughs> hey, hey, my knock, we, we touching on the fifth wave. You're going to have to be able to walk right now. You're going to have to be able to fly. If you just try, perhaps the inspiration will come. You might not be inspired to KTC. You might feel like, yeah, well, I tried. Just can't get that, uh, <laughs> that murder out my heart bone. I just can't get that thievery out my heart bone. I just can't, you know, you, I just can't get them other powers out my heart bone. If you just keep trying, the inspiration to be in cold will come because you will. You know, not just see the material, you know, coming into your favor, but, you know, the spirituality, you know what I'm saying, the frequency. 
you know. And even that, you know, mama say she, you know, she'll come at you crooked first to make sure you really KTC. So don't be discouraged if you are in code and you still having to battle all these things. You know, you got to continue and let mama know that you a code keeper, whether things are going good or bad, whether you're happy with your sister or brother, you're not happy with your sister or brother, whether you're inspired or you're not inspired, you a code keeper. Whether you agree, whether you disagree, whether you feel uplifted, you feel someone got your back, you a code keeper. And that's all we all need to know. That's all Hawa needs to know. Take heed to yourselves. Let your heart be deceived. Don't deceive yourself. I mean, don't, don't, don't listen to that energy. Don't give in to that, that wayward thought, man. Guard your thoughts. Get them evil wild beasts out your head bone, out your heart bone. Let your, lest your heart be deceived and you turn aside and serve other powers and worship them, even if it's money, mana. And the anger of, of a wild be kindled against you and he shut up the heaven so that there is no rain. The ground shall not yield her fruit and you perish quickly from off the good land. Which Hawa gives us. Verse 18. Therefore shall you lay up these my words in your heart and in your soul. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand. And they shall be for frontlets between your eyes. And you shall teach them. Your children, talking of them. You know, sometimes all you got to do is speak about the code around your children and they'll just pick up on it. Train them while they're young. When you sit in your house and when you walk by the way and when you lie down and when you rise up and thou shalt write them upon the doorpost of your house and upon your gates, that your days may be multiplied, and the days of your children upon the land, which Hawa swore unto your fathers to give them as the days of the heavens above the earth. For if you shall diligently keep the code which I command you, keep the commandments to do it, to love Hawa to walk in his ways, to cleave unto him. Then will Hawa drive out all these nations from before you. I told you, this is going to hit a little different today. They want to know our battle plan. <laughs> Prisoners of war. It's been more and more. Sometimes we got to take, you know, time away from all the books and just start building a fence, my life. <laughs> it's very therapeutic, you know. <laughs> hey, how cloud, hey, it got to be level, though. It got to be level because you got to be level. Because without the code, you ain't got no level. <laughs> and you definitely going to need to level up. Yeah. A wild will drive out all your enemies. All these nations. And it's not like some, again, you know. You know, animated. Oh, somebody's doing all this stuff for me. My not get, The creator's giving you the power to do this for yourselves. It's not about sit back. Let somebody else do, you know, get me out of my situation. Nah, it's Hawa going before you. Hawa, you know, taking these nations from before you. All you got to do is open your eyes and see what's happening. 
You shall dispossess nations greater and mightier than yourselves. You shall dispossess nations. So it's not like I'm going to dispossess these nations. You just go. No, you shall dispossess nations. So no one is, is, is sitting back asking no one to do nothing for us. We're saying that in code, you're going to get the connectivity. You're going to get the power. You're going to get the strength. And Hawaii's fighting with you. And the secure breath is fighting for you and with you. The earth is fighting for you and with you. Everybody real wants to see you, you redeemed. They don't want to see the metaverse. They want to see you. Because in code with your frequency, you will <sighs> start getting your Zechariah on. Love to come fresh, man. <laughs> Running around like sparks around here. Mighty men. Mighty aquas. Only battle plan we have is to code up. And see what Hawa do. Within you. And outside of you. Because our creator is true. And this truth is a frequency. And it has us surrounded. How many times have we said, man, I can't make this stuff up. It has us surrounded, man. But this is the one battle plan we've never tried. We had all this civil rights with Christian marches. We had Malcolm X's situation. We had all this stuff. We had all these religions and all this stuff. And we ain't even talking that right now. We ain't even talking that, my night. I'm talking about keeping the code. The code that everyone uses, everyone borrows from. The code that the whole world claims to know. The Ten Commandments. <laughs> but can we just remove all these other gods? Can we start right there? See what happens as a try? You don't have to know what I know. I don't have to know what you know. You know what I'm saying? We can just say most high over everything, right? And we know we're talking about the most high. We can unify. Because all those things that we think we have that separate us are very minuscule, my naga, compared to the, you know, real uh, enemy, the adversary. The frequency that's against you is bigger than all those little things that separate me and you or you and you and you and you. We have to code up. That's our unifying flow. Put the creator first. Anaga, I'm rocking with you. You ain't, uh, you know, putting vanity on the creator's name, on the, on your breath and security. <laughs> You ain't, you know, killing and stealing from your ox and aquas. Oh, man, you keeping your Shabbat. You flowing, you shutting your gates. Allah, why? I'm rocking with you, code keeper. You ain't got no covetous, your hard bone. You ain't on no, you know, adultery. You honoring your oaths. My naga, I'm rocking with you. You ain't bearing false witness. I'm rocking with you, my naga. You feel me? So these things bring us together. All the other stuff that we have difference of whatever, man, ain't even important. This is about survival. For the sake of survival, man, drop the petty stuff. All right, so you 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 believe that, and that's cool. I, I'm not even on it. I'm not debating nobody. You see me on any of these debate platforms, man? I don't give a, I don't give a doggone, a doggone, what no one feels and thinks about anything. <laughs> that they think is right or wrong. I I'm not trying to convince, you know what I mean? We over here popping off, man. <laughs> you surfing the wave, you ain't surfing the wave. You getting with it or you getting left on. And we've been telling y'all this. And we going on the fifth wave, man. We out of here, baby. This ain't about slowing down, trying to get somebody to, to understand nothing. This is about, you know, taking action by example. And being who we are, popping off from a tribe tribe.
we got the drive. We got the drive. I don't got the drive, my nigga. Not without you. We got the drive. And we been at the drive. Because we been all. <laughs> Get that drive. Five eyes. Let's go, man. All right, man. So, <laughs> yeah. You will dispossess nations greater and mightier than yourselves. Drop nation. Every place where on the sole of your foot shall tread shall be your. Oh, I'm talking Nagaville. It shall be yours, my Naga, because it was created for you. You are the children of the Most High. Remember? Remember? Yeah, wherever Hawa is leading you is your land. <laughs> I mean, they, they tried to tell us this, right? They tried to come over here with manifest destiny, right? All they're doing is trying to mimic the children of Hawaii because they know that in reality, the earth plane is yours. Kandawi is kind of the earth, my night. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, one shepherd, right? Yeah, kind of one shepherd. From the wilderness in Lebanon, from the river, the river Euphrates, even into the, the hinder sea shall be your border. There shall no man be able to stand against you, my Naga, not in Nagaville. A while shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that you shall tread upon. That's because you putting in, that's because you putting in that work. And he has spoken unto you. Wow, so Hawa shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you. Right now, we got so much fear for the hijack. We fear what the hijack is going to do. If we do this, the hijack's going to do that. If we keep talking this, the hijack's going to do that. If we, you know, go ahead and you know, pop off with that, the hijack's going to do that. If I buy land, well, the hijack's still going to try to do, 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 do. We are afraid to move. Everything they're saying has been flipped. Can't you see? They came over here with manifest destiny. Wherever we go is our land. Hawaii done told us the same thing. What came first? <laughs> Wherever the soles of your feet touches yours. My children, I created earth for you. I'm your frame and your shape. Adan. Hawaii. Straight from that Adam and Eve flow, man. From that Garden of Eden flow. The earth's being prepared for you. Prepared for you. No one can stand against you, my not, not in code. I've never, I never, I've never witnessed Israel being brought down in code, have you? So you're asking me to believe something that's never happened. That there's no evidence that the children of Hawa gets dismantled and brought down and gets defeated while they're in code? Nah. <clears throat> nah, my not. <laughs> there shall no man be able to stand against you. Hawa shall lay the fear of you and the dread of you upon all the land that you shall tread, just like you have fear of the hijack wherever they go now. That's how they will fear you. And secretly, that's how they do fear you. As Hawaii has spoken unto you. Behold, I set before you this day Baruch and a curse. Whoa. It says Hawaii sets before you a blessing and a curse in verse 26. 
Baruch and a curse. Baruch, if you shall hearken unto the commandments. So you Baruch, if you keep the code, you cursed if you don't. Not like I'm going to choose to curse you, but that's just how it goes. That's your choice. Slavery is a choice. <laughs> you want the blessing or you want the curse, man. You want to be in code? Out the code, I ain't talking religious. I ain't talking no white man's book, no white man's Bible. I'm talking with the white man, quote unquote, ain't teaching you in your hood, in your neighborhood, my not white man ain't teaching you how to rest <laughs> six days and rest white man ain't teaching you how to put aside Christianity huh? how to put aside JC and these idols on the cross white man ain't teaching you how to stop walking around these stones and throwing stones at Merculus nah this is drop nation my nigga. <laughs> this is the only sessions man. we learning together how to be hijacked free. How to get the Baruch and not the curse. Because it's a curse to not be the head, my nigga. Because that's what you created to do. You're the children of Hawa. It's a curse not to have your land and have your food popping off and eating good every... Man, you, you in a curse. Because you're outside of the Baruch. You're not inside the Baruch. You're outside the Baruch. But all that has changed because there's a few that are listening, hearkening, diligently. And I salute you and Baruch you, my naga, because you Baruch and me, you know what I'm saying? You Baruch and us by choosing up every day and every way you doing it. Verse 27 for the dismount. The Baruch, if you shall hearken unto the commandments of Hawa. which I command you this day and the curse if you shall not hearken unto the commandments of what <laughs> but turn aside out of the way which I command you to this day to go after other God stop so when we talk about keep the code and sometimes people want to get real intricate and bring up all the commandments of all these things and you know from Levitical this you know that and all these things and Hey, hey, ha, keep your Levitical diet. We definitely do. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, rock your, your fringes and do all the things you got to do. What did Hawaii just say, though? Baruch, if you shall keep the commandments. A curse, if you shall not. But you turn aside out of the way to go after other gods. What's rule number one? So, again, do all these things. But if you don't got rule number one, it's all vanity. Look out for that Cold Keeper series. Get part two, that's vanity. Part three, we, we come in hot with a little talk about murder. You know what I mean? We're just going to go right into murder. You know, there's no particular order. I'm just, you know, vibing it. We're going right into them ops and all that stuff. So, you know, look out for us. Cold Keeper Series Part 3. Managa like. Choose up is what we say. Choose up. You choose the blessing or the curse. But the main part of why you're getting cursed is listed right here in Deuteronomy 11 28. Because you turn aside to go after these other powers. All these religions, all these Ezuses and Muhammads and this and this and this and Allahs and boom, 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 and Jesus is this and all these other things, man. The most high power only is who we serve. Not through nothing else, not by way of nothing else, not with veneration for nothing else. That's it. The most high power. That's it. And with that, you know, we're provided with the guidance. We're provided with the mem We're provided with shepherding, my nigga. And this shepherding just 
brings us right back to the water every time. Right back to the creator directly. Put our power first. We never lose. Most high over everything. M-H-O-E. K-T-C. Then you're dripping in that mem sauce. Allow wah. And it shall come to pass when Hawaii, your power shall bring you into the land where you go to possess it. That thou shalt set the Baruch, the blessing upon Mount Gerizim and the curse upon Mount Ebal. And they not beyond, are they not beyond the Jordan, behind the way of the going down of the sun? In the land of the Canaanites that dwell in Abara, over against Gilgal, beside the Terebinths of Moray. For you are to pass over the Jordan to go in to possess the land which Hawa your power gives you. And you shall possess it and dwell therein. And you shall observe to do all the statutes and the ordinances which I set before you this day. KTC, that means keep the call. All praise, our creator, most high power, our ancient love song, our ancient head of days, our breath, our security, our frame, our shaper. Wow. Without breath, there ain't no security. Without security, there ain't no breath. <laughs> this was breath without security. What security without breath? Frame of shape. <sighs> No better feeling than to pop off a brand new checkpoint with my knockers. This is what we do. And sometimes it takes you jumping in there, you know, and even when you don't feel that energy to pursue something you know is great, just do it, man, because when you do it, you'll find the inspiration along the way. And along this journey, we all have become inspired. The water, Hawaii, the water to the tribe, the water drop nation, Kana to the Khan dynasty, keeping the cold to be restored, to be in our creator's eyes again. To be Baruch in our land. For Nagaville to flourish. For Joy World to flourish everywhere. For the restoration of Ama. For the security of Abba. The Wada to Machabata. And onward and forward we go. Way, way up. Eat the walking <laughs> with my tribe, tribe. Shalom to the Khan. Allow. Yeah, man.